Hello everyone, my name is Owen Poling. I'm here to make a video about Albion's College campus. So I'll be doing a video tour for you guys. So let's get to it. So for now, I'm just getting out of my room, out of my dorm room, shut that door, and heading out from the third floor, as you can see there, and all the way down to the first floor to go outside. So we are now in the one of many common space where students can hang out and there's also a piano. And we're going to just jump right outside into the front of the building of Wesley Hall where all first years live where I am living to. Now we're going to jump over to the science complex from Wesley Hall. As you can see, well now, <laughs> the science complex is pretty big. So there are multiple sections that just have classes in the realm of STEM. And students can come in here. Oh, and there's some fishes. That's neat. Students can come here to the atrium where they can just come and chill, do schoolwork, hang out, and talk with professors. The atrium is pretty cool. That's what this area is called. All right, and now jumping from the building, we're going to go back outside and the building to the left with the sign. That is the admission center where all the student applications are read. And now going here, this building right here is a visual arts building. And now we're going to go to this building right here. That is Seton Hall that can room second years and third years. And now we're going to go from the Seton Hall to Baldwin. Baldwin is where students can eat. And connected to Baldwin and Seton on the other end is White House. White House is where fourth years and third years can room. Alright, and from there over to these multiple houses, these are fraternities houses. Now there are multiple fraternity houses scattered around campus. But for now, after there, we are going to head to the Dow, which is the athletic building. And currently, there is a football game happening. So we're going to walk across the tennis courts area into the football stadium. And there's some parking lots there. The football stadium is also where uh, track people go out and compete or do practices. That is also where cross country runners like me practice also. Alright, and from the football field, we'll be going to the soccer and lacrosse field. They it's pretty big and then past the f soccer field you can see another field that is another field for baseball and softball and next to the soccer field there's just a big open field that can be for band members soccer players and so now we're going to be heading inside of the dow so as you can see, we're going to go into the basketball slash indoor track. This is where you could, well, athletes can compete inside. This is the pool area. It's currently closed for the day, but this is where a swimmer and diver team would go and practice. It's also open to the public at certain times. Then this is the lounge area in the front of the building of the Dow. Here, student athletes and non-athletes can go grab a smoothie from the smoothie bar. And then over here, this is where um, student athletes and non-athletes can just go and lift weights and run on the treadmills. And then over here, from the entrance 
of the DAO. This is where students students can go and do schoolwork while drinking their smoothies. As you walk towards the end of the lounge area of the DAO, you'll be looking into the football awards section and as you can see they won quite a lot of awards and then walking towards the end of the doors of the DAO there that is the Herod Theater entrance that section is where students uh, go to do plays and then we weren't able to tour the area but the White House Nature Center that is upon miles of nature trails you students can walk on and then it's like a hidden gem i think of but there's a train track across albion college where students can go to different locations like ann arbor but anyways uh, walking out of the dow you'll be walking towards the kellogg center the kellogg center is the student life building And here is the Albion bookstore. Albion is affiliated with Barnes & Noble, so this is where students can buy slash rent textbooks and also buy some merch of Albion. So my legs were tired that day, so I have used the elevator to get on the top floor. So the fourth, fourth floor is known to be a place where students would like to do their schoolwork because the fourth floor is soundproof from the other floors so that is awesome now i'll be going down the stairs to the third floor this is a community living and also campus life building so these areas are currently closed for the day because it's saturday but i work for campus life uh, coordinator so my job could be sitting at the front desk and directing people around so anyways this is the second floor this is called the stack so this is where students are able to get together and eat and there's also a lot of events there there is currently a, a drag show the other night so that was fun and awesome to watch. Anyways, this is Eat Shop Cafe. So that's where students can get some food and sit at some dining tables like those. And now I'm heading back to the first floor. And there's just some rooms open. Okay, and now over here, these are student mailboxes, and it's currently shut right now, but that is the post office. So you'll be handed a slip inside of, the, inside of your post box if you got a package, and you'll deliver that slip to the post office to get your package. From the KC, the Kellogg Center, now we're here at the Ferguson Hall. This building has the IT department and also class registrar. So if you have a, want to have a class change, for example, you would go here. From that building, we're at the Olin Hall. This building is for classes for psychology, mostly. Alrighty, and from Olin, we're at the Craig's Gymnasium building. 
that houses athletes of volleyball and basketball players. So that's where they would practice. And now we're at the two section building, MUD on the left, and then Cutler Center on the right. So the MUD building is mainly for uh, registering for books, borrowing, and all that. While the right side, the Cutler Center, that is for helping students um, writing, tutoring, and all of that. So now, here's a better view of the quad. So this is the center lawn of all the buildings I have mentioned so far. And there's a few more that I haven't mentioned within the quad. So right here is the honors building. So this is the observatory building, but it houses um, honor students to just study and chill here. So the thing with honor students are they have 24 slash 24 seven access to this building and they have free printing. So here's some good sceneries from the honors building to here. This building right here is the Voldemort. Voldemort houses classes like philosophy and religious studies. And from that building, this is the rock where it's, it's famous because students are able to spray paint it. And currently the theme is the LG Brits Club where they had done the drag show last night and I think they did a fabulous job with painting the rock and as you can see right there drag show at 8 p.m. it was awesome watching it okay so from the rock this building over here is the Robinson building the Robinson building houses um, economics and communication classes. Alright, so that was all for the um, quad section buildings. But right here, this is uh, United Methodist Church, the Goodrich Chapel. So Albion College has been affiliated with the Methodist Church. And as you can see, this building is huge. And each hour, the bell rings. And this is where there are concerts played where students can come and listen to. So now that we're done there, we are honestly back where we had started. We are in front of Wesley Hall again. So I'll be going on the west side of the building door entrance because I want to show you how big this building is. The front side shows that it's big, but also you haven't seen the side of the buildings. This house, as I said, houses first years, so there's a lot of us going to be put into this room. So as you can see there, it just goes on. And there's a parking lot where students can park their cars. And now I'll just put in my key card to open the door, unlock it. So basically, I'll be jumping from the stairs all the way to the third floor. And that's all. So I just would like to say, um, I hope you enjoyed this tour and all. But I, well. We have not toured all of the campus. There are multiple other buildings that I have been shown. I wish I could show you the nature center. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll try and do another one in the future. Have a great day guys, bye.